From historical scams that have been around for centuries to modern day cons that have taken advantage of the latest technology, there's no end to the deception and trickery people dream up. And that's what we're talking about today. Settle in and get ready, because I'm Mike with List25, and these are 25 biggest scams that actually worked. Twenty five. The Medicine Show. The Medicine Show scam was popular in the 19th century, particularly in the US, and involved traveling salesmen, known as snake oil salesmen. They'd set up temporary stages in towns and attract crowds by singing, dancing, and with comedy. Once a crowd gathered, the salesmen would then sell various miracle cures, such as snake oil, which they claimed could cure everything from cancer to rheumatism. In reality, these medicines were often nothing more than cheap and ineffective concoctions made from alcohol, laxatives, or other common ingredients. 24. The Three Card Monty The Three Card Monty, also known as the Three Card Trick or Find the Lady, is a classic street scam that involves the scammer using sleight of hand to manipulate a game of chance. Typically, three cards were used, a queen, a king, and an ace. The scammer will usually approach an unsuspecting victim and offer to let them bet on which card is the queen. The scammer will then shuffle the cards and allow the victim to pick one, while secretly manipulating the cards so that the victim always chooses the wrong card. The scammer will then take the victim's money and disappear. 23. The Pigeon Drop Scam The Pigeon Drop Scam is a type of confidence trick. It involves a scammer pretending to have found a large sum of money and then offering to share it with the victim, if the victim can provide a small sum of money as a collateral or good faith deposit. The scammer asks the victim to withdraw money from their bank account or to give them valuable items such as jewelry or cash as collateral. Once the victim hands over their money or valuables, the scammer disappears, leaving the victim with no way to recover their funds or valuables. 22. The Spanish Prisoner Scam the Spanish Prisoner Scam is an old scam with origins in the late 19th century. It involves a scammer pretending to be a wealthy individual who needs help. Typically, the scammer claims to be a member of the nobility who is in need of assistance in securing the release of a wealthy but imprisoned relative in Spain. The scammer offers a large sum of money to the victim in exchange for their help in securing the release of the prisoner. However, in order to secure the release, the victim is required to pay a series of fees, bribes, and other expenses which can add up to tens of thousands of dollars. The scammer then disappears with the money, leaving the victim with no way to recover their funds or secure the release of the supposed prisoner. Poor guy has been in jail for years. Century. 21. The Confidence Trick The Confidence Trick, also known as a con game or con, is a type of scam in which a fraudster gains the trust and confidence of their victim by pretending to be someone they're not. They then use this trust to convince the victim to give them money or personal information. These scams are often complex and can involve multiple players working together to fabricate a believable story. 20. Facebook Scams These scams take place on the popular social media platform Facebook. You know, hence the name, Facebook Scams. A typical scam often involves a fraudster using a fake profile to trick users into giving away personal information or money. Another type of Facebook scam is a phishing scam in which a scammer sends a message to a user posing as a legitimate organization or person asking for personal information or login credentials. These messages may also include a link to a fake website that looks like the real thing, but is actually designed to steal personal information. Uh, fun personal fact, I had a scammer, I had several of them, but the one in particular who reached out to me on Facebook absolutely trying to scam me, telling me I won something from Facebook, so I decided to screw with him just to waste his time. He got upset and reported me to Facebook and I got banned. So that's neat. Thanks, Mark. 19. Real Estate Scam Real estate scams refer to fraudulent schemes that involve the sale or rental of property. They can target both buyers and sellers, as well as renters and landlords. One common type of real estate scam is a rental scam, in which a scammer poses as a landlord and lists a property for rent on a website or in a classified ad. They'll then ask for a deposit or first month's rent, but when the victim moves in, they'll find that the property is not actually available for rent or that it's in very poor condition. 18. COVID-19 Vaccine Scam Criminals have taken advantage of the high demand for vaccines, using a variety of tactics to steal personal information, money, and other resources from unsuspecting victims. One tactic that scammers may use 
is to sell fake COVID-19 vaccines. They may set up fake websites, social media accounts, or text messages that claim to offer vaccines for sale. They may also create fake documents such as vaccine certificates to sell to unsuspecting victims. 17. Zoom Phishing Scam The Zoom Phishing Scam is a type of scam that occurs through the Zoom video conferencing platform. Scammers may impersonate Zoom employees, send phishing emails or text messages, or create fake Zoom login pages to steal personal information, such as login credentials, credit card information, or other sensitive data. To protect yourself from a Zoom phishing scam, it's important to be cautious when receiving emails or text messages that appear to be from Zoom. That's just great advice in general. One of the fun, I don't know if we're gonna mention this later, Whenever you get an email, if you are suspicious, make sure you check the, the, where the email came from. Not the name, because they'll change the name. Like I could say my name is whatever, but the actual email address will look super suspicious. So always do that. 16, Google Business Listing Scam. The Google Business Listing Scam is a scam in which criminals impersonate Google employees and contact business owners, claiming that their Google Business Listing needs to be verified or updated. The scammers then ask for personal or financial information or charge a fee for the verification service. These scams are often targeted at small business owners who may not be aware of the process of creating and managing their Google business listing. 15. Robinhood GameStop Scandal The Robinhood GameStop Scandal refers to the events of January 2021 when a group of amateur investors, organized on Reddit, coordinated to purchase shares of GameStop a struggling brick and mortar video game retailer in an attempt to force a short squeeze on Wall Street hedge funds that had bet against the company. The incident prompted discussions about the power of social media, the potential for market manipulation, and the role of online brokerage firms in regulating trading activity. 14. Wirecard Scandal Wirecard had been considered a rising star in the financial technology sector. But in 2020, the Financial Times published a series of articles alleging that the company had inflated its revenue and profits and that it was hiding large amounts of debt. Wirecard denied the allegations, but an investigation by the Financial Reporting Enforcement Panel, or FREP, found that 1.9 billion euros were missing from the company's balance sheet. Wirecard's CEO, Marcus Braun, was arrested and charged with fraud. 13. OneCoin the OneCoin scam was a Ponzi scheme that was uncovered in 2016. It involved a company called OneCoin Limited and its associated businesses. The company marketed itself as a cryptocurrency and offered investments in packages that promised high returns on investment. OneCoin claimed to be mining a new cryptocurrency, but in reality it was simply creating new coins out of thin air and using the money from new investors to pay the returns to earlier investors, making it a classic Ponzi scheme. Twelve. Ivan Bosky Scandal The Ivan Bosky Scandal was a financial scandal that occurred in the U.S. in the mid-1980s. Ivan Bosky was a prominent Wall Street financer and a well-known corporate raider who used insider trading to make illegal profits. It was one of the most high-profile financial scandals of the 80s and led to a number of reforms in securities regulations and increased the oversight of insider trading. 11. Fire Festival the Fire Festival was a fraudulent music festival that was planned to take place in the Bahamas in 2017. Oh my goodness, that was already six years ago. Wow. The festival was marketed as a luxury event featuring high-profile musical acts and exclusive experiences, and tickets were sold for tens of thousands of dollars. However, the festival was plagued by poor planning and mismanagement, and upon arrival, attendees found that the event was not as advertised. Instead of luxury accommodations, they were housed in disaster relief tents, and food and drinks were scarce. There's a fantastic couple of uh, documentaries on that. I highly recommend those. 10. Barry Minkow Scam the ZZZZ Best scam, also known as the Barry Minkow scam, was a massive Ponzi scheme perpetrated by Barry Minkow, a teenage businessman in the 1980s. Minkow founded ZZZZ Best, it's probably just quadruple Z Best, oh goodness, Z Best, a carpet cleaning and restoration company, which he claimed was generating millions of dollars in revenue through contracts with major corporations. In reality, the company had little to no revenue, and Minkow used funds from new investors to pay off earlier investors, as well as fund his lavish lifestyle. The scam was eventually uncovered, and Minkow was convicted of fraud and served over seven years in prison. 9. Tulip Mania 
Tulip mania occurred in the Netherlands in the early 17th century. The prices of tulip bulbs reached extraordinary heights before crashing dramatically. Many investors were left with worthless bulbs, and the crash had a ripple effect throughout the Dutch economy, causing a recession. 8. South Sea Bubble The South Sea Bubble was a financial scam that occurred in England during the early 18th century. The South Sea Company, which had a monopoly on trade with the Spanish colonies in South America, offered to assume the British government's debt in return for exclusive trading rights. Many investors were eager to profit from the anticipated wealth of the colonies and bought shares in the company. The stock price soared, but the company was unable to fulfill its promises of wealth and profits, which caused the bubble to eventually burst in 1720. 7. Crypto Scam One common form of crypto scam is the ICO scam. A fraudulent company or individual creates a new cryptocurrency and launches an initial coin offering to raise funds. It's an elaborate scam that includes a website and other paperwork that seems very legit. Unfortunately, once the fundraising period is over, the company or individual disappears with the funds, leaving investors with worthless tokens. 6. The MMM Scam The MMM Scam is a Ponzi scheme that was started by Sergei Mavrodi, a Russian businessman in the late 1980s. The scheme promised investors high returns on their investments, typically around 100% per month, and attracted a large number of participants, particularly in countries such as Russia, South Africa, and Nigeria. Mavrodi promised that the returns would be generated through a variety of business activities, including trading on the stock market and currency speculation. The scheme collapsed in 1994, leaving millions of investors out of pocket, with many losing their life savings. 5. Theranos Scandal The Theranos Scandal was a high-profile scandal that came to light in 2015 involving the embattled diagnostics company Theranos and its founder, Elizabeth Holmes. The scandal centered on the company's claim that it had developed a revolutionary blood testing device called Edison, which could perform a wide range of diagnostic tests using a small amount of blood obtained through a simple finger prick rather than a traditional blood draw. However, an investigation by the Wall Street Journal in 2015 revealed that the company's technology was inaccurate and unreliable, and the company had misled investors, patients, and the government about its technology and its ability to perform the tests it advertised. Four. Nigerian Letter Scam The Nigerian Letter Scam, also known as the 419 Scam or Advanced Fee Fraud, is a type of scam that originated in Nigeria and has spread globally. The scam typically involves an unsolicited email or letter, often written in broken English, in which the scammer poses as a wealthy individual or government official and requests help in transferring a large sum of money out of the country. The scammer offers a large percentage of the money in exchange for the victim's assistance and requests an upfront fee or personal information in order to move forward with the transaction. 3. Madoff Investment Scandal Madoff, the founder of Bernard L. Madoff Investment Securities LLC, was arrested in December 2008 and charged with securities fraud, wire fraud, and other crimes in connection with a Ponzi scheme that he'd operated for decades. The scheme, which was one of the largest and longest running financial frauds in history, resulted in billions of dollars in losses for Madoff's clients, including individuals, charities, and institutional investors. 2. Enron Scandal The Enron Scandal was a financial scandal that came to light in 2001. It involved the collapse of the Enron Corporation, an American energy company based in Houston, Texas. Enron, once considered one of the most innovative and successful companies in the U.S., was found to have engaged in a widespread accounting fraud that inflated the company's reported financial performance and hid billions of dollars in debt. 1. Charles Ponzi Scheme Charles Ponzi was born in 1882 in Italy and immigrated to the United States in 1903. He began his career as a businessman by working for a number of companies, but he quickly became involved in fraudulent activities. In 1919, he began promoting a scheme in which he promised investors high returns by buying and selling international reply coupons, IRCs. However, Ponzi was not actually buying and selling any IRCs, and the scheme was entirely fraudulent. So, have you ever been the victim of a scam? Tell us about it in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new amazing content we put out, including those little shorts, in case you want little bite-sized versions of List 25, Bite 25, if I, as I have dubbed them and no one else has, not catching on, whatever, I'll keep trying. Um, 
<laughs> that threw me off. I threw myself off. Um, don't forget to join our Discord, that uh, community. <laughs> that community is slowly growing. Uh, and as always, uh, if you can, please think about becoming a member. Help support us so we can continue to bring this great content to you. As always, I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. Be sure to click that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Share them with your friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.